gets extremely damaging for everyone other than Trump to go to trial with him, you know, to be standing next yeah. to Trump and to be branded as a RICO co-defendant is a big deal. And briefly before I lose you, so you have this scoop. Do you have a view of why some out there might want this out there? I mean, we haven't seen a denial or anything like that from the DA's office. This almost looks like a warning shot to say, if you're Giuliani, you missed your window already. So the, the phrase being used inside the DA's office is rat bingo. So, rat bingo? Yeah. Have you heard of that? <laughs> I have not. I haven't heard of that. Oh, what is rat bad. bingo? They is who gets to uh, negotiate these plea deals first gets the best deal, which is it is just their term for it, as, as I understand it. Um, and there are ongoing discussions with with several co-defendants. And I don't know if this is an effort to chivvy them up a little bit and to kind of say, look, you know, we can add people to this list and send you to trial as a RICO co-defendant. But I think it's a particularly big blow to Meadows and Giuliani in particular, because, you know, Meadows, as, as we have previously reported, was in the market for a deal. You know, he got off in, yeah. in D.C., so far as we can tell. And Giuliani, who's got these compounding legal debts, now he's going to be forced to go to trial. No, I'm not going to shoot the messenger. We don't do that in the news. You're just the messenger, right? But rat bingo is a game of chance, bingo, right? This sounds a lot more like rat race, because you have to race to cut a plea or you don't get one. And shout out to Bob Marley, rat race. Do you, do you feel rat bingo really captures it? I think you, you have to ask the DA's office. I think um, maybe it's uh, it's a game of chance because, you know, they're, they're pretty fluid. And what we have seen, actually, is they are prepared to cut deals in different directions. You know, for instance, with Sidney Powell, she didn't plead guilty to a to felony. Everything. But Chesbro did. And, yeah. you know, Chesbro pleaded guilty to a felony and he acknowledged that the slates of electors were fraudulent. And that is obviously a very big part of the overall RICO case. You know, that's one of the major kind of themes, one of the over acts in, in, in the conspiracy. So maybe well, it shows I, I appreciate that. We appreciate your reporting. And I will say with all, I'm not...